The Most Beautiful House. Long, long ago, there was an old man who lived with his wife in a little house that had a table with two chairs, a bed, and a wicker basket for the cat. Ah, this is all we need, said the woman contentedly. Anything else would be a burden to us. And she put one of the chairs outside in the sun and sat down with the cat on her lap. But one day the man said, We have no money left. I think we shall have to sell our chairs. Well, that doesn't matter. We don't really need them, said the woman. We can use the bed to sit on. It's softer than the chairs anyway. And she pushed the table in front of the bed. We're quite comfortable this way, she said. But soon their money had been spent again, and they had to sell the table. Well, why did we ever bother with the table in the first place, said the old woman. We might just as well set the table on the bedspread, since we're sitting in the bed anyway. And look at all the extra room we have now. She danced through the room with the cat in her arms. A week went by, and then they were without money once again. I can't find a job anywhere, said the old man, and we have no money. Oh, never mind, said the woman. We'll sell the bed. We're better off sleeping on the floor. It's healthier, and it'll keep our old back straight. And with the cat in her arms, she went to the field where she braided a cover of green grass with white daisies to protect them from the draught on the floor. It was a beautiful cover. But the man was really too old to work anymore, and when the money from the bed was gone, there was nothing left to sell, except the cat's basket. I'd just as soon get rid of that basket, said the woman. The cat can sleep between the two of us and keep us warm. But the basket only sold for a few pence. And it didn't take long for those to be spent. Look here, wife, said the man. We shall have to sell the cat. Nope, said the woman. We're not going to sell the cat. We'll sell the house. It's much too big now anyway without the furniture. Why don't we move into a little hut? So they sold their house. And they got so much money that they lived for a whole year in the little hut. And were very happy. Isn't this wonderful? cried the woman. It's so small, so handy, much less housework. And she went outdoors to sun herself with the cat on her lap. But after a year, they had to sell the hut. At this time, they had no roof over their heads. I'll fix that, said the woman. I'll make a house from paper. For three whole days, she folded, cut and pasted. Snip, snip, snip went her scissors. And soon there was a front door and windows, some with lace curtains. Snip, snip, and there was a kitchen. Snip, snip some more, and the scissors had cut out a room with a table, two chairs and a bed. And the cat got a basket too. Oh, cried the woman. It's going to be so cosy. She pasted all the parts together, and there was their house. They moved in but they had to be very careful not to tear the walls. Yes, but what if it starts to rain? asked the man. I'll make another house, answered his wife. That'll give me a chance to make a different one. Isn't this fun? She clapped her hands for joy, and she stroked the cat in its paper basket. But the rain never came. Something came in its place. The wind. It began to blow. Finally, it blew so hard that the paper house was lifted from the ground and went sailing through the sky. Oh, what fun, cried the woman. We're flying. Look how beautiful the world is down below. She held the cat in front of the paper window so it also could enjoy the view. But the man was afraid. We'll fall down, he said. Yes, we will, the woman shouted for joy. And who knows where we'll land? They travelled until they came to a country where the sun shone all the year round. And in that country the wind set down the paper house. It set it down in the garden of a palace. And the king who lived in the palace admired the paper house so much that he decided that it should remain there forever. Everybody came to look at it. The most beautiful little house in all the world. But the old man and the old woman went to live in the palace. The cat went with them. 
and had a wicker basket again, but it never used it. At night it slept between the man and the woman, that way all three of them were comfortable and warm. And during the day, the cat lay on the lap of the old woman, and the sun on the steps of the palace.